heroine을 보러 가야겠군요. Hey guys and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. Uh, I have I have no clue where I left off. <laughs> Let me just put that out there. No clue where I left off. I know I'm somewhere in uh, Lance's route, but I have no idea where I am in it. I have not played. Well, I haven't recorded anything or played this game at all since like somewhere in January and like I, sure I've like binge recorded like a lot so you know by the time this comes out it's gonna be like months away from that it's gonna be like oh fuck halfway through the year or something yeah I don't know I, I don't know I'm making an assumption here <laughs> but yeah I just have no clue where I am also, side note, my back hurts like a motherfucking bitch. Like, holy Christ on a cracker. Like, there's just this one spot on my left side, upper back, kind of like on the back of my ribcage, that just, oh fuck, it hurts. And it's either like the back of my ribcage or the back of my shoulder blade. I have no fucking idea exactly where, but like, oh, it just feels like there's like a knot there that I just can't get to for the life of me and it's just stuck there and it just every time I move a certain way I just oh my god it hurts <laughs> and I think it's because I worked all weekend after like not working for two weeks because I went on a cruise and then they didn't work me at all until like the Friday which like the Friday the week after I got back if that makes sense so, yeah, I just, ugh, it was brutal. I was standing up straight most of the day because, you know, professionalism, even though my he my hair is now teal, and it, I was wearing black eyeliner, mascara, and black lipstick because, you know, alternative looks because those are the best ways to go, I find, and I don't know, just, ugh. Everything hurts. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started, because it's been a while. Are you replaceable? Is this the first time you're purchasing a ball joint doll? Yes, so I don't really know what to choose. They're all so pretty. I'm kind of intimidated since it's my first time. Then how about Lance? He's the best first doll. He doesn't have a lot of characteristics, so you can make him be whatever you want. It all depends on the owner. Is Lance the most popular type? It sure is. He's the first doll from our company, so we focused on mass appeal. We designed him so anyone could want him, so he is still our most popular doll. Hmm. Alright, this type would fit well with where my grandpa and I live. It's my first doll, so it should blend well with the house, and... He's like a prince. He's so handsome. Lance. Lance. Such a pretty name. I hope my grandpa likes him too. But I won't tell anyone else. Me buying a ball joint doll should remain a secret. Classes are getting harder. I know. I can feel the exams approaching now. The world should have ended in 2012. <laughs> you must be pretty relaxed to laugh like that. No, I just gave up. Spoken like my true friend! We will never give in! Let's never succumb to the world! We'll get through everything with this mentality! I feel like there will only ever be despair at the end of all that. Hey guys. Oh, Shinbi! When did you get here? At Shinbi's arrival, I hear the girls squeal. Just now. I heard your determination not to yield to the world. Shinbi got really busy working as a model, so she's been missing more classes. Since the winter collections are about to be released, she seems busy from the new photo shoots. I feel that... I can't talk. I feel bad that we can't see each other often, but I should encourage her since she's my friend. Oh, come to think of it, is the festival right after the exams? This is my first festival at the academy, so I was very excited. All oh, right, since you've mentioned it, the members of the Hot Five are they going? Are they doing anything for the festival? Well, I don't know. And you still call yourself a class representative? You're the class president, and I'm just a health commissioner. Miss Health Commissioner, go ahead and ask them! You're close with a hot five! I see Lance and Yunho over there. Go and ask, please! You can ask if you're so curious. Why should I? I really want to know what they're doing for the festival! Please help a friend out! 
I wanted to ask her if she was friends with me just to exploit me, but as always, I couldn't beat Zoe and went towards Lance and Yunho. Yunho, how can you be so cute? Cute yesterday, cute today. Oh my god, look at this skin. It's like baby skin, huh? Do you use baby lotion? You smell so good. Aren't his eyes really pretty too? They're like rubies, all twinkling. I really want to put them in my pocket. Actually, Yunho, do you want to come over to my house? No, thanks, but no. Day told me not to follow strangers, especially girls. Oh, Yunho, we're not strangers. <laughs> well, alright, still many chances to come. Uh, I don't think I can go there. I don't feel brave enough to get through all those girls and talk to Yunho. I turned my gaze towards where Lance was sitting. Just my laptop screen. Lance is so cold as always. I can't go near him. His silver hair, like, I... Oh god, this is a type of flower I don't know how to pronounce the name of. Hyacinths are so beautiful, I'm almost blinded by them. Just once, just once I hope he looks at me. <sighs> there are a lot of seats here. Come and eat. Ah, I'm gonna sit next to him! I'm finished, so I'll be going. So mean, Mr. Lance! Uh, not there too. Lunchtime doesn't feel like lunchtime for some reason. It felt like a meet and greet full of reporters and fans waiting for a celebrity. I guess I should just tell Zoe so. I guess I should just tell Zoe I'll ask them later. I came home and found them all in the living room. I remembered and asked them about the festival. I'll be reading tarot cards with the spirits in Mystery Club. Yunho beamed. Oh, right. Come to think of it, Yunho joined the spirits in Mystery Club. It suited him so well, I smiled. Oh, is the festival coming up? Then that means we're close to the end of these chapters. What? <laughs> I was that far in? I didn't think I was. Maybe... Okay, I didn't realize I was that far in, if that's the case. I'm studying tarot cards really hard. <laughs> It'll be fun. Master, you should come. I'll read the cards for you. Yeah, sure. How about Tay? I decided to use my skills. Your skill? Yeah, my class is opening a cafe. Wow, that must be nothing for you. Tay just smiled. But if Tay's serving, the place will be swarmed with people. I'll be acting with the drama club. The drama club? It was such an unexpected answer. A drama club? Red, you liked acting? Well, here's what happened. The club president is a huge fan of action hero shows. He must have really liked me since he kept on asking me to join the club from the first day. But yesterday he came to my class and said something to me. That he really needed me in the play for this year's festival. And he gave me a pamphlet. I read it and guess what? The play was about a villain invading the earth and a warrior fighting for justice! It was the script for the festival play. As soon as I read it I knew instantly that this was written for me. <laughs> Who else would be able to play a role like that? So I immediately handed in my application to join the drama club. A villain invading the earth and a warrior fighting for justice. That was the exact concept for Red when he was released. He looked so excited talking with sparkling eyes. That's just for you. I know, right? I thought so too. Yeah, you're probably the best person for that role. It must have been made for you. <laughs> I'm so glad my heroine likes it. The Academy will get loud. Lance shook his head. What are you planning to do at the festival? The school government asked me to be a festival conductor. Well... It's basically like a discipline guide. I'll be more interesting. You have to be up on stage if you're going to participate in a festival. A festival conductor is an important job. They have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Can't anyone do that? All they do is go around and check things. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. A job for anyone. Lance's job is quite difficult, too. Before, Lance used to point out Red's behavior, but now they just diss each other. I'm worried about their relationship getting worse. Every time I try to arbitrate between the two, but they won't get better just by me trying. Bad sentence, but okay. I'm glad you found a stupid role to suit your stupid self. Completely putting my efforts to waste, the two start a fight again. Red got mad at Lance's contempt. I don't like just hanging around and doing nothing, and I was born with the action hero concept. It's my destiny to play an action hero. I might have been born to act in this play. Anyone can become a festival conductor. Being born to play a stupid clown. What a happy life. What? Red approached Lance as if to grab his throat. Shouldn't you two stop? Tay went in between them. I'm... I'm scared. Tears. As you can see, a chick is trembling behind me. Tay comforted Yunho and said, 
Both of you, calm down. You both have important roles in the festival. Don't fight. I was worried you guys would roam around without anything to do with the festival, but I worried about nothing. After speaking, I thought of myself. Wait, come to think of it. I might be the one to roam around without doing anything to do. I might be the only one to roam around without anything to do. I shouldn't be worried about them right now. I still haven't decided what to do with the festival. Heroine, then, come and see me. I'd feel so good if you came to see me. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. What? Red approached me as if he just thought of something. Heroine, yes, heroine. Yeah? You can be the heroine. What? Red's face suddenly lit up. We're looking for someone to play the heroine. You're my heroine, so it'd be perfect for you to play the heroine, too. You want me to act? Is... Is he asking me to act in the play? His eyes shined brightly. Yeah, heroine, you're perfect to play the heroine. Red talked all excitedly, and I felt Lance's gaze coming at me. They just stopped fighting, and I was anxious if they would start again. Unlike Red, Lance didn't look so pleased. You're not about to join that idiot's thing, are you? He was ignoring Red as usual, but something was different. He seemed a bit anxious. Before I could even understand what Lance was thinking, Red continued to ask me. Ignore him. How about it? Won't it be fun? Well, that's... It was such a sudden suggestion that I didn't know what to say. I felt more flustered since I've never been in a play before. The heroine is the female lead. It's a really important role. I think you'll pull it off the best. I, I'm confused on what to call her, Red. How about it? You be the heroine, please? Red urged. What do I do? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. No fucking clue at all. Um. If I say all right, I think I'll annoy Lance, and then it'll take me down a route I don't want, because, like, I feel like that goes down Red's route later on in the game somehow, but I'm not on Red's route because it's locked because... I have to do everybody before I do red, I think. Or I at least- no, no, no. I have to do Tay before I do red. So, like, that doesn't work? Like, it, it doesn't- it doesn't work. So I feel like if I go that's a bit, then it'll please Lance, and then I won't get a bad ending with Lance, and then I can just do- I just get- I, 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 I can- uh, words. I can just go with it when it's red's root. That's my reasoning. If I fuck up, I know where I fucked up. Probably. If I remember. I'm terrible at remembering. Th that's a bit... I don't know. I've never been in a play. What if I ruin the whole thing? <laughs> it's okay. My heroine will be perfect at anything. She refused. Don't push it. Red kept on suggesting that I play the female lead and Lance cut in. It looks like the second round will start soon. What's wrong with you today? She does not suit the heroine role. What? Who said so? Heroine, aren't you insulted by what he said? He said you're not right for the role. Well, not really. I'm not really insulted. I wasn't hurt by what Lance said, but I was curious. Why doesn't he think I'm right for the female lead? Am I not attractive enough as a girl? I felt a bit weird suddenly having these thoughts. Why isn't heroine right for the heroine role? Give me the reason. Why? Heroine isn't even ugly. She's pretty cute, and she looks like she'll act pretty well. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute, and he's probably trying to get on my good side, because they're probably competing with each other over me. I feel like that might be what's going on, along with the fact that they don't like each other's temperaments. The reason is simple. Because you, Red, are the lead in this play. Another person will be better at your side. I can even give you recommendations. There's this girl called Zoe in my class, and she's all over the place like you are. I was surprised at suddenly hearing Zoe's name. Bringing Zoe into this, he must really not like me in the play with Red. But I wondered why he thought Red and I didn't suit each other. Red seemed to wonder about the same thing. Red frowned. The heroine and I are the perfect couple. I'm actually insulted! You don't need to listen to him. I'll tell the club president myself. Just think again when you meet the president and then tell me. Okay. What is it? What's so funny? Did you just spend more than an hour in the bathroom? You're so clueless. Even an hour isn't enough to groom this beauty. Anyways, what were you guys talking about? We were talking about the festival. You're a teacher, so are you supervising? 
Oh, didn't I tell you guys? What? I'm putting on a show! A band show! To add, I'm the drummer. What? Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have said. The star always has to come in as a surprise. Well, anyways, that's the plan to look forward to it. So, look forward to it. Not long until all the girls in the world fall for me. Of course, including you, darling. Yuri started to approach me again. What's gotten into him again? Stop! That's the limit! If he comes any closer, I'll kick him. Um, hey, Yuri. Hmm, what? Don't be afraid. You were born to become my lady. Ow! Thankfully, a slipper hit Yuri in the head and fell to the ground. I haven't seen that move in a long time. I was just about to tell you that a slipper was coming your way. Lance, you silvery jerk! Are you really going to interfere with my seductive moves like that? Huh? I've never interfered. Ha! You've never... Then what's this slipper? I don't know. It was a coincidence. You just happened to be hit by a slipper I just happened to throw. What? Is that your excuse? I feel like Yuri is going to fight with Lance now. All these fights. I don't feel good about it. I remember seeing Lance look so unhappy earlier. Why is he feeling so pissed? Does he really not like me in a play with Red that much? I should go wash now. Yuri, I'm not done talking. I'm sleepy, so I'm going to bed. I have homework to do, so I'll go back to my room. Oh, I'll... Yunho, who slept in the living room, seemed flustered, since Yuri and Lance were about to start their second round. Where should I sleep? He looks like he's about to cry, since Yuri and Lance were about to start bickering and fight. I felt sorry for Yunho, who had to sleep on the sofa and missed the awkwardness. Yunho, you can sleep with me. Oh, well. Then everyone, good night. Oh, alright. Yunho followed me as I headed towards the room. <laughs> Wait, you two stop there. What? Us? Yes, you two. What did you just say? Hey, you! I'm not done talking. Why are you suddenly talking to them? I will have to postpone. I apologize. I will face you next time. Hmm, you actually apologized. Whatever it is, you must be in a hurry. All right, I should go wash then. As soon as Yuri went into the bathroom, Lance stared right into my eyes. Now answer. What did you say? What? Uh, good, good night? Before that. Um, Yunho can sleep with me? As soon as I said that, Lance's face froze. I think that was the right answer. That. Do you realize what you've just said? How old do you think Yunho is? Although he's a freshman, we are still adults. And adult men at that, understand? And you want a man to sleep with you in your room? Do you have any sensibility as a woman? Lance rattled on. I wonder if he's ever spoken that much all at once before. Um, I just thought Yunho wouldn't be able to sleep because of you and Yuri. I was worried about him, so... I feel sorry myself for bothering Yunho. I'm sorry, Yunho. I'll make sure something like this never happens again. Lance rapidly apologized. I don't know if he really feels sorry, but he apologized twice. As Yuri said, he must be in a hurry for something. Oh, I'm fine. But you too! How could you just follow her? You should have been the careful one. How could you just be swept away? I, I'm sorry, Lance. I apologize. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Harry's like, Lance, what the fuck? <laughs> just that face is like, really, dude? Really? Silence flowed among the three. Yunho almost started to cry after all this. Lance's cold expression wasn't any better. I feel worried to see Lance so pissed. Huh? Some of the words in my diary were smudged. Maybe I smudged it before the ink dried. Okay, that happened in the last one, too, where the pages were missing or something. And it's like, what's going on? Like, why is that a thing? Is, it, is the wizard interfering with the pages? Or is it the doll that the wizard was talking, the boy that the wizard was talking to, who I'm assuming is another doll? Because I know the wizard is involved, because his theme was playing at the beginning of the game. So, like... What the fuck? I should be more careful from now on. After writing in my diary, I checked my smartphone as I always did. Usually Lance would have sent me a text by now, but not today. Hmm. He didn't seem to feel so good. I wondered if he was sleeping well. I should get to bed too. It was too late to think more about it. Hmm. I couldn't open my eyes. I peeped to see if it was dawn, but it was still dark. 
I checked the clock on my wall and saw that it was the usual time in the morning. I can hear water drops falling on the window. Oh, it must be raining outside. How rainy is it today? I check my smartphone. There was a text from Red, telling me that the club president will come by to see me today. Hmm, and still no text from Lance. It kind of bothered me. Big news! Did you hear? As soon as I came into the academy, Zoe started to make a fuss. Huh? Red is going to act in a play this festival! Oh. I heard it was an action hero story. Doesn't that fit him perfectly? If it's about that, I heard about it too much yesterday. How would Zoe react when I tell her I'll be playing the heroine? But according to the rumors, the heroine role is still open. That play sounded a bit weird. <laughs> That's not the problem. What's important is... That in this whole academy, I, Zoe, is the only one who looks good enough to play the heroine. What? Don't overdo it. I was surprised at what Zoe said. I didn't know Zoe was interested in that role. I remember Lance recommending Zoe as the heroine yesterday. Other boys are bound to come to the festival, and we all know that outsiders always go see the band gigs and the play. I really, Hawkeye, just might see me on stage and fall in love with me, and we might become a couple. I should hand in my application after class. Of course, I'll definitely get the part. <laughs> R really? I was nodding to Zoe when all of a sudden the classroom door opened. Everyone stared at the door that slammed open. Heroine! This voice isn't... Red! D did you just call me a heroine? Hey, president over there, it's her. Am I really telepathic? Well, I am the prettiest girl in this academy, so... She is the heroine. Huh? Red pointed at me, and Zoe looked flustered. Now, heroine, hurry and join the club! Oh, you're the one Red talked about. Have you been in a play before? Why don't we go someplace else first? I want to tell you in detail. I heard you know action heroes quite well. Uh, uh, um... L wait you mean her? Zoe looked surprised. Huh? You're her friend, right? Nice to meet you. Red saluted to Zoe. You look pretty good, too. You'd be perfect for the dinner lady or the girl drawing water from the well. Oh, but can you move out of our way? As the club president pushed Zoe a bit to the side, she faltered. She has never faltered before. I am so immensely confused right now. I want strawberry milk. Let's go. Shinbi dragged Zoe's arm and Zoe stood up like a zombie. I worry if Zoe will be okay. Now's not the time. Could we talk later? What are you talking about? All the club members are here to persuade you. What? Surprised, I looked out the door. In the hallway were around ten people gathered there. Red talked about you so much, we all wanted to see who you are. I suddenly felt the burden crush me. I was flustered to see so many people wait for me, but I couldn't refuse now. Alright, I'll just listen to what you have to say. Red really overdid it this time. Ah... <sighs> Uh, but the girl who was just next to me was interested in the role, too. Excuse me? I think we could change the costumes a bit. I spoke for Zoe, who wasn't here, but no one listened. Zoe, I'm sorry. Is she the one Red talked about? Hmm, I think we'll have to rewrite the script considering her looks. She's perfect for the heroine. I guess if Red says so, it's not that hard to rewrite the script anyways. The play seemed to change according to whatever Red said. I felt sweaty. If that's the case, it's just more burden for me. Um... I was looking at everyone to say something when I saw Lance walk towards us. Oh, he must have finished his discipline guide work. He looks stunned that I'm even here. Lance silently looked towards me and just went into the classroom. He still looks pissed. I felt worried. Well, if the president agrees, I'm okay with it too. How about you guys? I don't see why I disagree. I mean, if she can act, that is. I flinched at what he said. Oh, that's a guy. I don't care anymore. I've never acted in my whole life. Um, thank you everyone, but this is also sudden for me. Can you give me some time to think about it? I carefully expressed my thoughts, but the president looked at me as if I'd said something preposterous. What? Red, I thought she was set. Uh, we did sort of talk about it, but I don't think she's decided yet. Red scratched his hair and said, He must have told them I already said yes. Well, in my mind, you're the only heroine, so hurry up and decide, alright? Okay, okay, I get it. Thank you for your time, everyone. I bowed to everyone. The whole crowd had to go away, feeling iffy. Ugh, what do I do? I felt like it'd be impolite to refuse now. What do I do? 
I looked around the classroom and saw Lance looking into a piece of paper. What do I do? Well, I already figure that I should ask Lance for help, but I'm just gonna save on this one because I don't even know if what I'm doing is correct. So, ask Lance for advice. I looked around the classroom and saw Lance looking into a piece of paper. He looked confused and I felt like I shouldn't talk to him. I took out my smartphone. Lance, about the play, what should I do? I hit send. Lance would surely reply, don't do such a thing. I saw Lance check the text and saw him just turn the phone off. Um, and then he turned his eyes back to the piece of paper. Is he that busy? Classes were done for today. The sky's so dark. It looks like it'll rain. It rained a lot this morning. Maybe it's the monsoon season just coming late. Ugh, I didn't bring an umbrella. I should hurry home. It looks like it'd start raining any minute now. I checked my smartphone again. Still no text from Lance. Ugh, so many things on my mind. Lance didn't reply to my text, and I still didn't give an answer for the play. It looks like it'll rain soon, so I'll be off first. What happened with that play thing? I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. Don't ask me for advice. Not about that. Zoe still hasn't recovered from the damage. If you feel too burdened by it, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay. No matter how much I thought about it, I still felt that Zoe would be better for the role. I was about to exit the classroom after saying bye when I noticed Lance's seat. Is Lance okay? I muttered while staring at his empty seat. His bag was still at his desk. I don't think he has an umbrella. What if it starts to rain a lot? I worried and thought that I could maybe go home first and bring him an umbrella. I'll have to go home fast then. Anyways, bye guys! I said bye to Zoe and Shinbi and came out of the classroom. I don't think the rain will stop anytime soon. Just as expected. I sent another text to Lance and worry. Do you have an umbrella? Send. Touch. Good. He might ignore my text like he did this morning, but I still wanted to contact him first. Huh? I was thinking that when the phone rang. I am on my way. I am on my way. Okay. Okay. If you say so, bud. It said I'm on my way. Lance, this isn't answering my question. When I saw him earlier, he looked like he didn't have an umbrella. Hmm. I was more worried since Lance would just let himself get caught in the rain. I sent a text back right away. Stay there. Send. As soon as I sent the text, I grabbed two umbrellas and left the house. Huh? Um, I brought the umbrellas, but I couldn't find Lance. And there's no bag? It looks like he already went out. I called Lance right away. The phone dialed for a while and went straight to voicemail. Why isn't he answering? Did he not get my text? If we missed each other on my way here, things would get complicated. I think I should at least go to the bus stop. Rain started to pour heavily. He would for sure get a cold if he gets caught in this rain. I should hurry up. I hurried my pace with the sight all blurry from the rain. Ugh, I hope nothing's happened to him. I kept on calling him, but he didn't pick up. I wondered if the rain was messing with the signals. But I got a text from Zoe while looking for him, so that mustn't be it. Did something happen? I was slowly getting worried. It'd be better if he just didn't see my text and got back home safe. Smartphones aren't that helpful after all. I complained while fidgeting with my phone. I soon arrived at the bus station. I saw something amidst the pouring rain. Huh? I saw a familiar figure. It was one who I desperately... Blah, 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 blah. It was one who I was desperately looking for. Did he just stand like that in the rain? Even at a glance, I could tell his lips turned to blue from shivering in the cold. What is this? Lance! What are you doing here? Hearing my voice, Lance turned around. He was head to toe, soaked in the rain. Even his eyes seemed watery. Oh my god! How long were you standing here? I hurriedly put my umbrella over him. It didn't help his already wet body, but I didn't want to just leave him in the rain. Why didn't you take my call? Ugh. I didn't know you liked to be in the rain, but what if you get cold, huh? As strong as the rain pour was, the sound was just as loud. Amongst the noise, I was scolding Lance, but he didn't respond as if he couldn't hear anything. So I was about to stop talking when I noticed he was looking at something. It's... 
A Barbie doll was on top of a pile of trash next to the telephone pole. A Barbie doll, something everyone wants to own when they are little. I saw a lot of ads for that on TV when I was little. It was still in o it was still in okay shape. Who threw it away? Why was Lance looking at that doll? I reached out for the Barbie doll. It looks new. Every girl has at least once owned a Barbie doll. I remember dressing it up and combing its hair when I was little. Did she get tired of it? Such a shame. I said that while laying the Barbie doll back on the trash pile. Lance quietly looked at me. Are you leaving it? What? Oh. I could hear Lance's voice amongst the pouring rain. Yeah. It was left there in the first place. And I don't collect Barbie dolls now. Are you okay? What if you get a cold? Let's go home. You're pale. I was worried to see Lance look paler than usual. What did the owner think when she threw that away? Lance. Lance's blue eyes were, di were directed at me. I felt a bit flustered and opened my mouth. Well, maybe she got tired of it or got a new one. I understand. The cold rain was still pouring down on him, but he didn't seem to want to move. To Lance, I... Quietly listen to what he has to say, ask him what happened. I think I should quietly listen, because that sounds like an appropriate response for Lance. So we'll see what happens. It's unfair. Unfair? Lance opened his mouth after some time. This is surely a disadvantage to one side. I'm saying it's been put in a pitiful situation without any choice. Pitiful situation? He must be talking about the Barbie doll he's looking at. Lance just stood there staring at the doll. A doll cannot choose its owner. That abandoned doll had a disadvantage. A doll is made by someone and someday abandoned by someone. Lance sounded lonely. I knew from the beginning. What did you know? You imagined being abandoned? I felt upset to see Lance talk so easily about being abandoned, but Lance calmly continued. If they don't have any distinct characteristics, they are more easily abandoned. Like that doll. It's not its choice to be mass-produced without any distinct characteristics. That depends on who the owner is. I said as if defending myself. I could understand a bit why Lance was saying that. Lance is the most popular doll released from Crobodol. He's the most popular and the most produced. Wasn't he feeling anxious at seeing an abandoned Barbie doll, a doll that's also popular and mass-produced? You're right. It depends on the owner. Lance looked at me. He looked tired. Lance, were you feeling anxious? That abandoned doll will be fine. That doll can't feel anything. It was just mass-produced. There is no soul in that doll. Soul? A soul in a doll. Does Lance believe that? But even Lance who's standing right in front of me was a doll once. Lance's existence proves that there are souls in dolls. But Crobodol is different. When the doll maker made us, they put souls in our manufactured bodies. He frowned as if trying to remember something from a long time ago. Oh my goodness, that's a different expression. He looks so upset there, that's very similar to Yunho's scary expression that I really didn't like. Except it almost feels worse coming from him, because it just looks like he turned back into his doll self, where he's not human, almost. Doll maker. Souls. A doll maker is someone who crafts dolls. Does Lance remember the person who made him? Then Lance is telling me the story of his birth. I don't understand. Explain. Lance looked at me and continued. The doll maker gave me a soul so I could feel, think, and remember. I heard that some percentage of dolls from Crobodol are given souls when they are made. Dolls from Crobodol have souls? I nodded unconsciously. Although I like ball joint dolls, the reason I like the ones from Crobodol in particular is that I felt there was something more in them. And there kind of is in a way. Something attracted me to them. It was like... A person's warmth. Even though in their doll form, their eyes are just super cold and scary. Like, I don't know if anyone else is getting that vibe, but when you see that shadow on Red's face, it looks like he could turn into a villain rather than a hero super fucking quick. And then with Yunho, you can tell he's, like, got something going on. And with Lance, it's kind of the same deal. Yuri just looks fucking sad. And Tae 
Also looks like he has something going on behind his eyes. Like, there's just something. I don't know what it is, but there's definitely something. Is that what Lance is calling souls? I don't know why. They could have just manufactured us so we don't have any feelings. Lance remembered the time he was given a soul and continued. But rather than feel thankful towards the Maker, he seemed to feel upset. His resenting eyes said it all. The doll makers are like gods to us, dolls. They craft our bodies and give us personalities. You know that Krobodol assigns specific concepts to dolls. I nodded. Of course I knew. That's why I thought Krobodol dolls were special. They gave us background stories similar to how humans grow up, and because of that, the dolls delude themselves, thinking maybe we are human. Lance talked as if he was talking about all the dolls in general, but I felt that he was just talking about himself. A doll that has already become human is saying that he deluded himself into thinking he may be human. I wanted to tell Lance something, but I decided to listen first. And while they are deluded, they are even given memories and emotions assigned by the doll makers. He sounded sad, and his eyes were wetter than the pouring raindrops. His eyes had sadness in them. That is how it is. That company gave dolls personalities like that, but to me, they didn't give me any personality. What? What surprised me more than the fact that they gave dolls souls was Lance's sadness. The sadness of a doll that wasn't given any personality touched my heart. The doll maker said to me that I will be whatever my owner pleases. He said that would be my characteristic. Lance clenched his jaw. They should have just left me as a thing. Why was I given a soul? They should have just made me a lifeless doll if they weren't going to give me any personality. Lance's eyes turned towards me. My heart sank, wondering if he resented me, his owner. But I didn't see any resentment in his eyes. He just looked at me with an inscrutable expression, and he opened his mouth, blew from the rain. There are so many things without any personality like me. People can take it and use it for a while, and if they don't like it, they can throw it away to get a new one. I know that, like that doll, but the Lance type will only one day be thrown away, Lance said coldly. He was so cynical that I almost forgot he was talking about himself. Get a new one? Lance, that's not true! I yelled to Lance to refute him, but Lance shook his head. That was why I was born. I am... different from Red. He'll stand out anywhere, even outside of school. He's unique in this world. What? You... He has a distinct personality. Lance started to talk about Red. I never knew he thought of Red that way. Did Lance treat Red the way he did because he felt inferior? Compared to that, I am the common Lance type. You can just get a new one if you get tired of me. I cannot see a personality just by trying. Oh. I cannot get a personality just by trying. My owner must give me one. That is my concept. In other words, you standing right here in front of me. The world you show me is all I have. He looks so sad. No. Babe, that's... Oh. I want to give you everything that you can possibly have because you, like, you deserve it. Oh, yeah. Do you know what the clothes and food you choose mean to me? They become an important part of me. That is my concept and that is my personality. So if you abandon me, my world ends. Oh, Ari looks like she's got tears in her eyes. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I didn't know what to say, but I wanted to comfort him in any way I can. Um, Lance, I don't know what to I don't know where to start, but... All this talk about doll makers, personalities, these things I never heard about made my head hurt. Lance looked at me, disheartened. Lance? I felt that his sad eyes suddenly became blurry. And besides, he moved a bit weird. Huh? Lance suddenly faltered and collapsed. Lance? Wake up! Lance! Oh no, did he turn into a doll? Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh no, okay, he just has a fever. Okay. 38.5 degrees. Pretty high. I know. Lance. I couldn't carry Lance by myself, so I called Yuri. Thankfully, Yuri was still at the academy, and he soon came to us with Yunho and Red. We were able to carry Lance back home, but the problem was his high fever. Master, will Lance be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. A guy should be strong enough to withstand the rain. He obviously needs more training. 
We gave him medicine, so let's just watch how he is. Okay, I have to go now. Where are you going? I have to go back to the academy. I was in the middle of something when I got your call and ran out. I have to go back and finish off some stuff. I should at least finish what, I've pa what I'm paid to do, and besides, I'm a teacher. You're right. Thanks for coming. I'll make sure he repays me for this, so why don't you take a break too? I'm fine. Thanks for worrying, though. Yuri winked at me and then left the room in a hurry. Then I'll be out too. I want to be here with you, but I ran out without telling the club president. He'll probably be going crazy right now. I'll be back around the time Tay's done with work. You sure you'll be fine without me? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, and about the heroine. You can tell me tomorrow. Just think it through today. Red looked at me with serious eyes. Red left the room too. M master I'll go get some hot tea. Do you want some citron tea? You can't get sick too. Oh, thanks, Yunho. I was thankful for his kindness. After Yunho left the room, it was just me and Lance. <sighs> there were so many things to think about. If I think about what Lance said, did he always feel so anxious? Whatever Lance did, he was definitely different from Red, who had such a strong personality. It never occurred to him that what I showed Lance would be everything to him. If I had known that, I would have asked him to try other things, too. Maybe that was why he liked the lemon tea. I remember he followed me and gave me a cup of lemon tea when I lost my phone. That was the only way for Lance to express himself. For the simple reason that I chose and bought something for Lance, that becomes what he likes. The clothes that I chose for him at the department store and the tea I bought for him. I didn't know that you felt so anxious. I really didn't know. I felt so bad that I wanted to cry. I held his hand and buried my face on his cheeks. I'm here. Oh, Tay! Red called me and told me everything. Are you both okay? Lance has a fever, but Master is fine. They're both in Lance's room. Both of them together? Alright. He looks mad! He looks mad at that! Don't be mad at me for this, Tay! I'm sorry, I'll get to you next playthrough, I promise! It's me. I'm coming in. Oh. I think Master is asleep. He still looks mad! Stop it! Don't be mad at me! The, they were holding hands, right? I'll just go in and cover them with a blanket. Oh, I, I can do... No, it's fine. Okay, now he looks happy. Maybe he's just happy that Lance has me now. I don't know. Tay is just different. I, I can't... I don't understand. Yeah, he's a motherly figure, but like... At the same time, I, I know he cares about the main character, so it's like... I need, I need to play him in order to understand what the fuck he's thinking all the time. <sighs> Making her worry like that. <sighs> Just be more careful. I gave up on her so you can make her happy. Oh, Tay, no, babe! Oh, no. Every time I go for a different character, he gives up on me so that the other one can be happy. Oh, no, babe. Oh, no, babe. Babe, oh, no. I'm coming for you next, I promise. I'm pretty sure you'll be my favorite out of all of them. But, like, oh, babe. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad. Well, I feel so bad right now. I want to be with Tay. Fuck. Fuck. So what do you plan to do? Are you sure you can be here all alone? Yeah, don't worry about me. It'll be dangerous for you to live here by yourself. I'm fine. Since I'm not alone. Huh? What did you say? It's nothing. Mom, really, you don't have to worry about me. Grandpa's not here, but I'm fine. Since I have Lance to protect me. Right? Lance. I felt something warm touch my hair. Soft hands. This was like Grandpa's hands. Am I dreaming? Huh? I woke up. 
I felt warm hands stroke my hair. I've worried you. Lilians? Reminds me of, the, of one of the Kingdom Hearts characters, but I can't remember the name of the character right now. But like, he looks so much like him right now. Like, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Riku! That's it! He looks like Riku! It was Lance's hand. It was definitely Lance's hand, stroking my hair. His hands were so soft, I just stayed still. Did you fall asleep like this? I'm embarrassed. I'll get up now. It's fine. Stay still. His voice was unlike his usual tone. Oh yeah, I fell asleep while caring for him. <sighs> he started breathing heavily. Lance? I didn't... He muttered. I didn't mean to worry you. What do I do? Oh, fuck. Stand up and look at Lance. Say I'm fine. I'm not sure which is the right answer. So we're about to find out because I'm going to say stand up and look at Lance. And if that's the wrong answer, I'm reloading. Oh, Jesus. I let him go and stood up to look at him. Will you abandon me someday? Lance's face turned sad. His constantly changing face was like the sky before it rains. Lance? It might be better if you were with Red. You'll forget me soon if you're with Red. I might not be that important to you, even so. What are you talking about, Lance? I'm such a common type, so I'm not that important. So I'll be abandoned one day. Right? Right? Lance, that's such... Are you going to abandon me? Answer me. Lance, what are you talking about? I would never... Don't you know me? Answer me. If you're going to abandon me, just get rid of me now. Lance, what are you... Lance forcefully grabbed my hand. <sighs> and put my hand on his chest. Oh god, I think I chose a bad ending. Just destroy it with your hand. L Lance, it hurts! Let me go, please! You're being strange! He ignored me and held onto my wrist tighter. If you're going to abandon me, then just take my soul with you so I don't feel anything. Everything my maker gave me, it's all for you. Without you, I... Ah! I can't take this anymore. Lance is out of his mind right now. I want him to calm down, but I don't have any choice. I screamed. Ah, oh, this is a bad ending! No! Not doing it! Nope! Not doing it. Nope. I'm gonna say I'm fine. Cause fuck the bad ending. I'm fine. I was just thankful that I got to know how he truly felt. If I knew he felt that anxious, I would have cared more. If anything worries you, please just tell me. I can listen to whatever you have to say. I closed my eyes and said, that worries me. Lance stopped stroking my hair. I've already told you, so you know now. But there is something I want to ask. Go ahead. Will you... Will you never leave me? You idiot. I didn't reply and instead teased him. Idiot. I even felt a bit upset. I've never thought of leaving Lance, but I felt upset that he thought that I would. He's the doll I've spent the most time with. Do I look like I'd do something like that? Why were you suddenly so nervous? Getting caught in the rain, like an idiot. Come to think of it, Lance was a bit weird since yesterday. Now that I think back, I can kind of guess why. Is it because of Red? He told me he compared himself to Red and envied him. He'll stand out anywhere, even outside of school. He's unique in this world. And he has a distinct personality. 
You... You're not like that because Red asked me to be in the play with him, are you? Lance seemed a bit overworked even then. He didn't even reply to my texts. Is that... really it? That's my only guess. Maybe Lance always felt anxious and that just triggered him more. Would you know what it feels to be left behind? To be left behind? When you and Red are surrounded by people getting attention, I didn't like just watching you. I'm doing something anyone can do, like Red said. Lance, you... I turned my head, hearing him tear up a bit. Lance was facing the ground. Is Lance... crying? I was scared. Since anything can replace me, like that doll. I've spent the most time with you, but I'm nervous. I know that you'll never abandon me, but I'm still nervous. I don't know since when, but every time I look at you, I want you so much, but I feel so anxious. What happens when I'm abandoned like that someday? I've already felt your warm touch. What do I do when you no longer need me? I'm scared. I'm sorry, I'm the most stupid and weak one. I'm more stupid than Red. I touched his slouched back and carefully embraced him. I won't leave you. He doesn't say anything, but it doesn't matter. The person I was holding on to was warm unlike when he was in the rain. And that warmth spread to me. So, I hope he realizes how sincere I am through my arms holding him. I would never leave him. So, don't feel nervous. Okay. His small voice rang in my ear after a long time. Bright sunlight filled this room. Strange, my room never gets bright like this. I opened my eyes. Huh? It's Grandpa's room. It's Grandpa's room. I rarely came into this room after Grandpa died, but the reason I'm here is because Lance was sick yesterday. I look around. I see traces of Red and Lance here and there. Compared to Red's messy side, Lance's things were organized and neat. And looking around more, I found Grandpa's fa I found Grandma's favorite mother of pearl closet and Grandpa's favorite orchid. That closet is completely empty now. Wasn't there an attic that had a box with an abandoned doll in it? Or was it in the closet? Because if the closet's empty, then that's a problem. When Grandma died, we burned all the clothes in it. Grandpa used to stand in front of that orchid and water it. Grandpa. I feel like I can see what Grandpa saw every morning. Grandpa. Whenever I'm in this room, I feel like I'll see him again. <sighs> I shook my head violently to get rid of the tears from thinking of Grandpa. Then I suddenly recalled the present owner of this room. Right, Lance! I looked around and Lance wasn't here. I remember falling asleep here with him. Then I heard a knock. I didn't answer, but the door opened. Oh, Lance! Lance opened the door and came in. You're awake. Thank God, he looked better now. How do you feel? I feel fine. Sorry for last night. He looked healthy as he talked. I'm glad he's better, but I couldn't help but ask about last night. I carefully brought out the subject. Do you remember last night? <clears throat> Slightly. Slightly? You mean you remember parts of it? I guess. Then, uh, then could you tell me exactly which parts you remember, which parts you don't? I was still bothered by yesterday and had to ask him about everything. <laughs> he just smirks! Oh, look at that face! Oh my god! He remembers everything! He's so cute! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's so cute! I can't- I can't fucking deal. What is- fuck! Stupid chariots making me care about characters that aren't even real and making them think they're super fucking cute and then it's like, why can't there more boys be cute? Why can't more boys be cute? There's so many boys that need to be more cute! They need to be less- like, they need- like, they still need their masculinity to a certain extent, at least for me, because like, for me to like a guy, I need, like, some form of masculinity of some kind. Like, oh, you'll protect me. Oh, you'll keep me safe. Oh, you'll, um, be, like, my partner in life. You'll be someone I can depend on kind of deal. But, like, 
I need the cute stuff too, you know? Like, ah! Ow, I hurt my back. Oh, God. Uh, oh, it's, I shouldn't flail so much. Fuck. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, my back. Ow. Injuries. Ow. Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to rub it and it and it hurts. But any anyway, as a, ow oh fuck, oh okay stop. I'm not rubbing it anymore. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying before, I hurt myself. Uh, I just I don't know. Like guys need to have like a little bit of masculinity for me anyway. Um, if they don't really have any, I, I guess that's fine. Like I wouldn't personally want to have, like, want to date them if they didn't, because, like, I'm, I'm straight, so, like, there's kind of, like, an element to that, and, but, like, I could be friends with them, but, like, if in order for me to date them, I, there has to be some kind of masculinity. There just can't be too much masculinity either, though, like, if there's too much where I feel like it's interfering with a potential relationship, because, like, he just can't take a minute to like process his feelings and like tell me about them and be really open to me about them of what's bothering him and stuff then that's a problem because like you know that's not gonna work but they, boys just need to be cute okay the point is boys just need to be fucking cute you just smirked right Lance smiled at seeing me ask nervously i felt good that he smiled since he rarely does but this time it was like he was teasing me i felt kind of pissed I was about to stay that way when I remembered everything Lance told me yesterday. Everything because Lance felt so anxious. I wanted to talk about it again so he understands for sure when he's clear-headed. Don't say things you said yesterday, like an idiot, if you remember what you said. And don't get caught in the rain and get sick. Just call me when something like that happens. It would have been fine if you had just called. If you call me, I'll run straight to you. So just trust me more, Lance. <laughs> Lance was silent. I was wondering if he was even listening when he leaned towards me. And he stroked my face. <laughs> She's so startled. I stiffened in surprise, but soon relaxed. His eyes were still deep and blue, but unlike the violent storm I saw yesterday, I saw a calm sea in his eyes. They were beautiful. I stared into his face while he stroked my cheek. I saw his face every day, but I can never get used to it. His eyes, like jewels holding the ocean, met mine. His hand that was stroking my cheek slowly moved towards my lips. His long and white fingers moved as if outlining my lips. Aww, she's getting all flustered. I would too, though. Like, that's... It's so cute when... It, it's like... It's really... Like, a very pleasant feeling when guys can touch you in a romantic way. Because... Like, it's not... Sexual. Like, they're showing that they're attracted to you, but yet... It's not in a way that's highly invasive, and it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It's a... It's a nice feeling. I don't really know how to explain it. It's a nice, warm, comfortable feeling, and more guys should touch girls like that if there is some form of consent for the touching, or, like, they don't move away, like in this case. Like, you know, just some kind of indication that it's okay to do it, because... Yeah, like... <laughs> Just touch girls in a way that's comfortable and non-evasive because it's nice and it makes you feel good. It makes them feel good because I know I like that. I unconsciously backed off. What, what was that? My heart pounded. I looked at Lance, surprised. <laughs> you drooled. It's not ladylike. Huh? I hastily checked my mouth. It felt clean. He's teasing me again. I glare at him. I'm joking. You spaced out again, so I just wanted to tease you. It's so like you to fall for that. Let's go out. I'm getting hungry. L Lance! I yelled at him as he turned around to head out. I could tell from his back. He went out smiling. Ah, oh, God, he scared me! So I'd like him to joke around like that. The door suddenly opened again. Oh, right. Before I could even feel surprised, Lance continued talking. About the play. I think it could be a good experience for you. What? About the play. He must be talking about the play Red asked me to join. I thought Lance would naturally oppose, so I was surprised. What's gotten into him? If you're going to do it anyways, I'd rather see you do your best. 
And I have to see what dress you're going to wear. Although I still do not approve of that boy playing your partner. Oh, he went out as soon as he finished talking. I still haven't said I'd do it. I said to the closed door, but he probably didn't hear it. I thought he'd say no. I'm surprised. But I felt kind of good. He didn't seem to feel inferior towards Red. I think slowly. Lance is turning more stable. He's so fucking cute, my babe! He's just fucking cute, and I can't- ah! He's too fucking cute. Okay. So that's that. There's one thing I want to check really quickly, but I, I have to play this part before I can check it. And we're ignoring it. It's not there. It doesn't exist. None of this is going on. So we're going to check this. I couldn't write in my diary yesterday night because I slept at Lance's room. I had an important conversation with him in my sleep. It wasn't a dream, right? I hope that Lance doesn't worry as much now. Lance will always be my precious doll, and an important part of me I will never be able to replace. I hope Lance knows that. I hope. No, you're so cute! Ah! I should really check the diary after the end of every chapter more often, or at the beginning of every chapter, because I think it changes at that point, and it tells you things that are important by the seams of it, or something symbolic, you know? So I'm going to try and do that more often. I'll probably do it more in Tay's playthrough than in this one, just because we're reaching the end of this one by the seams of it. And, you know, I just don't want to, like... Like, I want to check the diary, don't get me wrong, but, like, I also don't want to be super inconsistent. Even though I'm totally being super inconsistent throughout this whole thing, because, like, I it's a blind playthrough, and, like, everything is inconsistent within blind playthroughs, so I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to justify here. I'm just doing my own fucking thing. But, yeah, that is... that was the chapter. I probably went uh, on longer than I meant to, because I always end up doing that, but, uh, yeah. I enjoyed myself. And I hope you did too. So I will see you in the next one. Which, I feel like I'm stealing someone's catchphrase. Yeah, I'm accidentally stealing Markiplier's catchphrase. Sorry, Markiplier. Not intentional. I just watch your videos, and... Ugh. Anyway. Later.